Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your boy Crooks the Great back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 4 video. And in today's video, we're gonna be using the newly added fighter Toporia. Now I didn't you guys didn't hear me pronounce his first name because I ain't trying to butcher people's names, bro. Y'all y'all know I I despise that. I despise that, so I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his first name. But we're gonna be taking on the meta fighter himself and Connor McGregor. Now, in this matchup, I really wanted to make this video. Because number one, I haven't used Taporia in the game yet. Uh, so this is actually my first fight ever using him. But I've been hearing really, really good things about him. The only knock that I've been hearing about him is they kind of messed up his stance a little bit. Um, and that sometimes he does feel a little blocky. But to start off with here, he feels pretty natural to me. Feels pretty good. Movement feels pretty good. We're fainting off. He has good striking stats as well with 94 punch speed. I believe with 95 punch power. Or it might be the other way around, 95 punch speed as we crack Connor right there with a clean uppercut and drop him. I believe he has one of the two. But here we're putting a little bit of pressure on him. Now I know he has better grappling stats than Connor, obviously, but we're going to see how well he fares in the stand-up against somebody like Connor McGregor. There's no better test in UFC 4 in the stand-up than to fight the meta fighter himself. So here we're trying to close the distance a little bit, but we still are taking our time just because Connor is so damn fast in this game. Like right there, that combination almost is unslippable when he throws the lead hook straight. But we crack him right there with a clean straight, hurt him, popping the jab off, trying to close that distance, but still just being very weary of that power that Connor has coming back. It was a nice lead uppercut by my opponent right there, and he fights very well off the back foot. And we're just still taking our time, chopping right there with a clean body kick. Another one, but he's able to armor through with the jab straight to the body. Now, I just noticed this guy is JTMYT. This guy is a YouTuber? If he's a YouTuber and you guys watch this guy, let me know. Let me know. Let me go check out some of his videos because he's doing a good job of using the spacing so far. Okay, we're just taking our time. The one thing that I don't want to do is start to get in a pocket war with Connor as we crack him right there with a clean three piece. We don't want to go back and forth with Connor because he just, for some reason, even if you hurt him, like, even if you hurt him in the pocket, he, his chin just holds up. He has an ungodly chin in UFC 4. Even after losing to Dustin, as we hit him with a nice mix up right there. So we're still just trying to take our time. Pop him right there with a good, nice jab hook. He's backing us up now. We gotta fight out of the corner because we don't want to get pushed up against the cage. We do so successfully. Chop him right there with a clean calf kick. So, so far, so good in this first round. We haven't eaten too much damage. We're doing a good job of spacing it out. Getting our combinations in. And then getting out. But right as I say that, we get caught with a clean uppercut as we fainted to the body right there. And like I said, that's why we have to be careful against Connor. Because one uppercut on a feint or going down to the body will change the course of the fight completely as the first round ends right there. We had a very, very solid first round except for the last minute where we got caught with that lead uppercut. Or that rear uppercut, I'm sorry. He didn't even hit us with the lead uppercut. He hit us with the rear uppercut, did some nice damage. But as you guys can see, we knocked him down. So we're one and one. And we're, we're throwing out a good striking percentage. We're almost at about 50%. On the higher ends of the 40. So, you know what? When you're up in the 40s, in the high 40s, uh, low 50s, you're doing a good job of uh, of having some good, nice striking. So we're just taking our time. We're not really trying to rush anything, man. And that's the trouble that I think a lot of people get into with this game. It's like, you need to know. It's hard to tell when to push forward and when to just kind of take it easy. I said, I've been noticing that I, I kind of get that way too. I get that way too. I don't know when to when to press forward all the time. So sometimes I pick bad moments to walk forward and get caught with something. So that's kind of what I'm not trying to do right here. So we're just taking our time, chopping at that calf kick still. If we can get him to switch stance into orthodox, that would be great because it would lower that power down just a little bit because of the bad switch stance of Connor. Right there, he misses on the kick. We make him pay right there with a crispy, clean combination and knock him down for our second knockdown of the fight. But nice slip right there by him on the front kick. But we're getting that damage off. We're getting that damage off. Let him know we are still dangerous, even if he is advancing forward. 
Right there, he checked that calf kick. He's trying to unload on the block. We circle away. Now we have him almost up, up against the fence. We're trying to cut off the cage. But that's a tough thing to do against Connor. Popping out that nice jab. Anticipating the lead hook straight coming coming out. And that's a combination. If you guys are running into Connors, a lot of Connor McGregor players like to use is that lead hook straight because it's so damn fast. So fainting the calf kick now. We might try to go with the calf kick into a straight here in a little bit, like right there. But he did a good job of reading that out and being able to block the straight coming forward. Nice body uppercut. We crack him right there with a clean jab hook off the nice frame advantage that we did have. We go down to the body. Now we're pressing forward. Nice job by him catching the kick right there. And he's going to go for a trip. That was nice. And then into a head kick. Gets the nice block. And now we got a war on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to start trying to walk us down. Trying to get this damage off. And we need to do something to gain that respect back. So we're fainting off. Just trying to mix up the timing. Barely missed on the rear hook. Nice body kick right there by him. We're popping that jab to close that distance. Now we're pressing forward. Just trying to put him in an, in an uneasy spot. And that's hard to do against somebody when you're not using a meta fighter like Conor McGregor. So here we're just taking our time. Pressing forward. Popping that jab out. Catch him right there with a clean front kick. Hurt him. Drop him right there with a clean lead uppercut as he was bobbleheading a little bit. But it's not going to be able to get us into a ground and pound scenario. But now we're unloading. Catch him right there with a clean straight. Now we're in the ground and pound scenario that we were looking for. But he did a good job of slipping that first punch. So he's going to be able to survive right there. And then he's going to roll us. We'll let him use his stamina. We'll let him use his stamina as the second round ends right there. Very, very close. End of the second round. We almost had him. We almost had him. That damage is starting to stack up. So here in the third round, he's going to recover a little bit, but the chin is starting to become a little suspect. And now we're back underway. Still just trying to space it out, take our time, chopping the, chopping the leg with the nice calf kick. We miss on the roundhouse kick to the head, but catch him with a clean, crispy, clean two-piece combination right there. Hurt him. Still just trying to take our time, but we drop him right there with a clean jab hook. Nice uppercut off the block right there by him, though. I didn't anticipate him blocking that, so I didn't slip off. Still just taking our time. Popping the jab out. Oh, nice uppercut. As I tried to faint, I tried to faint. I tried to faint into a body shot right there. But he did a good job of just countering it right away. So there, oh, there's the nice faint body into slip uppercut combination that I love to use when people are trying to anticipate me going to the body with the uppercut. Nice minor step by us right there. Anticipating that lead hook straight trying to come out. But we catch him right there with a crispy clean three punch combination. Drop him. Now we're looking for the ground and pound finish here. But he's doing a good job of posting it up. And he's not going to let us get the finish. But this is where he's going to be tested because Connor has a bad ground game. And Taporia does have a pretty good ground game. I'm not going to lie to you guys. If you guys seen him up against Bryce Mitchell in his last fight, he did Bryce Mitchell dirty on the ground. Bryce Mitchell, who is a very, very good fighter off of his back he was able to hold his own so that's what we're trying to do here getting some nice damage in the postured up full guard he's gonna go on the cage right there we're gonna let him just to drain down his stamina we're letting him walk forward we're gonna try to go with that knee to the head but he did a good job of blocking it right there he's got bicep control so we decided to take the back right there into the nice back sitting position right here now here we're just taking our time punching the head he did a good job of rolling the backside. We're going to posture up here and roll him into side control so that way we have a better position. Go for the crucifix here, and now he's in all sorts of trouble. Because if we block a transition like we do so right there, he's this is almost GG's. And then he has low stamina, so we're going to go for an Americana here. Now, you guys know my sub offense isn't the best. But it looks like we are doing a good job, especially with the low stamina of keeping up with them right here and it looks like we're gonna be able to get this americana and he knows it so he just gives up we throw the strikes there elbowing him to the head and this guy's just calling it ggs right here and we're able to get the job done with the americana at a crucifix right there with saporia in my very first fight with him here ladies and gentlemen 
But that's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. Let me know what you guys think of Taporia as well as the newly updated fighters as well. But until the next video, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next video.